All right, ladies and gents, handyman back again. Just want to give you a quick tutorial on changing this uh, trimmer head out or the uh, button on it. If you, uh, you know, just just want to change the button. I know that's all the time you need, but they tell you at the uh, dealership or, or whatever you call it that you need the whole assembly. But they said that you no know, wear out. I got both of them just in case. You know what I mean? But we're gonna change out uh, this one and it's gonna essentially be the same as changing out that one. Uh, Cause we're gonna go through the same procedure. So we're gonna, uh, sh <coughs> excuse me. Uh, first show you how to get that thing off right quick. Well, first I guess we'll show you how to disassemble. You got a little push keepers in there. You can push that, get one side a little bit, other side push. It'll come off, double check the other side. I'm going to push again and get it uh come off. Get all that grit and grind, bump it out of there. Best you can, like I said, you in the field. So keep your little one of these in your tube. You know, thing in case you have to. It's always best to, it didn't come with dirt in it. So whenever you can get uh whatever out, like I said, anything will function better when it, you know, sometimes you can't get all of it, but do your best. You got that part out the way. Next part is that center assembly and it's locked in now. Push down and that one's full of dirt because it's wore out. Uh oh, a little difficult, but you see it comes out of there. Got that out the way. These come already pre spooled. Get that out of there the best we can. <coughs> uh oh, excuse me. Let's see, we just took it out. Already pre spooled. Exact, identical as the other. It's still, you know. It tells you which way the line spools. If you ever have to spool them up, show you that in another video. We're gonna just gonna do this real quick. Got that off. Like I said, in the very bottom. If y'all can see that, right here under those, you got a little L-shaped deal. That's what those little keepers fit under. You wanna line these, this weed to trimmer up close to there, so when you load it, you don't have to undo a whole lot of trimmer line about right there is fine no spring gonna have to pull our spring out the other one it's in the bottom of there shouldn't be a big deal pops right out push that down in there once you get it pushed on it's on it ain't going nowhere like i said line your trimmer up that hole a little bit pad this way so when you might go one more just to be on the safe side. Push and line it, you know, you're right there. All you have to do, hold that so it doesn't move, snap out, trim a line. Same thing, snap out, trim a line. And you got it set. Still locked in place where it's supposed to be. And uh, only thing next, line those two divots up right there where it came out of. Push down, you ready to go. Just give it a little tug and you ready to go. Take that uh, whole assembly off, no big deal. You got a little hole right there on that side for the steel brains anyway. That's why I said keep your few tools, put it in there. When you turn, you're gonna feel it drop down and lock. Once it locks, then you can just apply a little pressure. These go the other way. You can hold that little keeper there it right on off of there and like i said the brand new one goes right back on the same way hold all your stuff you see nothing coming loose so you don't, you don't have to replace nothing just as fast as that keep your little wrench there bump it down hand tight see it slip a little bit right there you're good to go fresh you know changed out ready to go that fast you back to cut and grab making money 
Y'all have a good evening. We'll see you on the next one when we uh, show you what else handyman up to.